Now let's begin. The authority of the policeman. Right? Do you question that? Isn't it necessary? Huh? Isn't that necessary? But question it first. Don't accept, don't say it's necessary. You see, you have already accepted authority. <laughs> No, you can't do anything we about. Huh? We don't want that kind of authority. But we can't. You don't want that kind of authority. Suppose I have been driving in France on the right side of the road, and I come here. I'm used to ride, driving a car on the right side of the road in France, in Austria, and so on. I come here. And I keep to that side, right, to the right side. And I will, bring, I'll, there'll be accidents, right? So I must. The policeman says, "Hey, get back! <laughs> <laughs> Go to the left." But if I insist on keeping right, he'll give me a ticket. So I accept the authority of a policeman. Who tells me you are in the, driving in the wrong lane? Please kindly go to the left, because that is the custom, that is the law in this country, <coughs> right? That is huh? quite sensible. That is quite sensible. It is. Now, then, <coughs> the authority of government. It's much more complex. The authority of the government says you must become a soldier. In Europe, you have to become a soldier for two years. Fortunately, not for women. In Switzerland, in France, in all the European countries, you have for two years you have to be a soldier. Do you accept that authority? If you don't, it's really no, just think it out. Think, look at it carefully. They say we have to protect our country, right? In case of war, we are prepared to fight the enemy. Have you ever heard of that phrase? A general says, "We have met the enemy. It is us." Have you heard of that phrase? Have you understood that phrase? We have met the enemy. It is us. We are the enemy to ourselves. Oh, that's it. Sorry. <laughs> so find out. Government says all governments. The most inefficient government also says you must fight for the country. There is a tremendous authority, right? What's your response to that? Well, if I was in that situation, uh, say I'm a Swiss citizen, and if I and I'm, and I'm asked to join the army, I wouldn't do it. No, I'd, then you would go to prison. No, I'd go to another country. <laughs> they won't let you. Well, there are ways. Huh? There are ways. Oh yes, but you can never go, never go back to your country again. Yeah. I know several people who have done this, <clears throat> but they can never go back to that, their own country. Is that the answer? Question, question what you are saying. 
Perhaps to some degree it is. I said question, sir. Question what you will do or is that when government says you must become you're conscripted, drafted as they use that word in America, drafted, here the word is conscripted, and you're asked to join the army. <coughs> that is supreme authority. Do you question that? By question, do you mean where authority comes from? No, I... do, government says you must. Okay, yeah. what, what exactly do you mean by question? I mean by question, we are questioning authority, you understand? It's not clear, I don't understand. I've explained, sir, I haven't tired. Haven't we? We are, I told you, the sticker in California. You say, question authority. That means, do you accept authority? Where do you accept authority? Why don't you, do you disregard authority? Right? Now, government says to you, as you are a young man, or going to be when you are 18, 19, 20, says you must become a soldier for two years. And they give you other alternatives, which are rather boring. <coughs> or when there is a war, all the people, grown up boys and young men, are conscripted. That is that authority of the government. Do you question that authority? Yes, but what can you do about it? You're going to find out. We're going to find out. But first question is that what you will do when somebody, government, asks you to become a soldier? It's a very complex problem. I don't know if you can go into this. They say we must protect our country, right? Right? So you have to question, what is our country? It is all that we know around us, our language. Which means what? That which we're familiar with. Take for instance, England says to you, the British government says to you, we are going to be attacked by somebody, <coughs> and you must put up, train yourself, carry a gun and become more the rest of it, and fight. Now, what's your response? Poor chaps. He probably won't want to. Huh? He probably won't want to. He probably you don't want to. Then they either, if you are in Russia or in other countries, they shoot you. Or they say, if you don't want to, what is your reason? You don't want to kill another man. Huh? You don't want to kill another human being. So, is that your conviction? No, I think... But careful, I'm asking a question now. He says, you don't want to kill another a human being. Is that your conviction? Is that your religion? Yes. Do your parents also are religious that way? They ask all these questions from boy. I'm not inventing them. What's the point of killing somebody else? Huh? What's the point of killing somebody else? What is the point of killing people? Yeah. I mean, they have done this. They have done this for five thousand years. And more. The Greeks did it, the Egyptians did it, the Sumerians and Babylonians and so on, so on, so on. Great empires were formed that way, killing people. The British Empire, 
which lasted 150 years, not like the Persian Empire or the Greek or the Egyptian, the Egyptian civilization for 3,000 years un, undisturbed. That's in, so people have been killing each other for the last 5,000 years and more. So what's your answer? Perhaps you just become a soldier. Huh? Perhaps you become a soldier, but not with the attitude of you're doing it for your country. And not with, because if you protest, that the very fact that you're protesting, that be, in a sense that becomes your own belief, your, so, your all right, fire. Sir. So you you become you become a soldier and you are ready to kill. And he said so. He said you might become a soldier. That means you are prepared to kill for your country, right? <laughs> so when you meet, you go slowly. What's your country? What do you mean your country? We are questioning everything, you understand? What do you mean, your country? It's the American way. I, this is the way it's done. So, I, I mean, you don't go in it patriotically. You don't... If you don't, you'll be... Perhaps you'll be put in prison. I know, you don't go in patriotically. You don't go in for your personal reasons. You don't go... But you're going to kill people. Well, don't kill anybody. Don't kill anybody. Just carry a gun. Then they kill you. Huh? All right. I know a man. He became a soldier. He was forced. And he, and the officer said, "I was going to the front." And the man, soldier, this friend of mine, said. All right, but when I get to the front, you are the officer, I'm going to shoot you first. <laughs> because you have forced me to that position. And they said, this man is crazy. <laughs> and they had psychologists and this psychiatrist who the rest of them examined, but he kept on repeating that. He said, get back home. <laughs> But don't play tricks like that, you <laughs> So, you don't say we are questioning. You are not questioning. I am sent government, Indian government. Unfortunately, they can't. I'm too old. <clears throat> they question me as an Indian and say, you must become a soldier. And you must protect your country. I question, I say, what is my country? What do you mean, my country? Right? Question it. Who says it's my country? Yeah, but they won't listen to that. Huh? They won't listen to that. They? I, I'm questioning myself. Forget what the government says. What, what do you mean by your country? That's what I'm asking. <laughs> <laughs> Country that you're born in is supposed well, to be your country. You, huh? Where you're born. Yeah, that's supposed to be your country. You, you because because it's supposed to be your country. Why do I say it's my country? Because you've lived there. And yes, and you say it's your country. <laughs> and I say it's my country. <laughs> right? <laughs> Why do we say this? Why do grown up people say this? And the young people say, and it's been the tradition of thousands of years, my country, I'm going to protect it. It's your country, you're going to protect it. Let's kill it.